Hey guys, I'm LP, and we are back with another R3 Dash puzzle. I forgot the word. <laughs> Called Light Roll, all one word. A simple ball test chamber, but make sure they don't roll to a fizzler. Wink. Enjoy. Alright. Let's see what you got, R3 Dash. Is this better or worse than your previous map? Alright, we've got an angle panel there. We've got a cube immediately off the bat. Uh, what do we want to do with said cube? I'm assuming we block that, right? Oh, that disables that, yeah, and what else? Uh, X. Where is... Oh, this is X. Yeah, that's X. Okay. So basically, I want to take that... And... I'm assuming... Okay, so dot is probably gonna be a ball, right? By the way, R3 Dash... Uh... Let me- let me demonstrate this real quick. Don't put white surfaces like this, because there's a thing called portal bumping that can let people cheat quite easily. Yeah, you don't want to allow that to happen. Same thing goes for... like that. Even though... even though it's quite a big gap, people can portal bump to their heart's content. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you need to make sure that there are no portalable surfaces along the edges of a fizzler in order to do that. Alright. Let's, uh... Let me fizzle my portals. There we go. Oops, wrong key. Meant to hit one, not tilde. Okay, so let's hit that. And then let's hit uh there. Ish. That was that works. Alright then. So now we block this again. Oh, come on. Alright, let's see what this ball has in store for us. I assume we want to put it over in this guy, right? Oops, come on. So far, I wouldn't really consider that an actual puzzle, per se. Because really, we just need to block and unblock the laser whenever we want to. Alright, so, what do we have here? What's in there? Uh... Here. Um... Hmm... I guess we need a cube. Yep, that can be portal bumped. So can that. Alright, so... I'm guessing one of these is gonna drop a cube, right? Like, uh, the one that I don't... actually... have access to right now? Huh. Oh, there's a button I haven't pressed. There's our cube! Alright, put the cube there. Oh, and there's a whole other area over here I haven't seen. What is all this about? Oh, this is an anti-trapping situation. Uh... These things can trap players quite easily. Like, if, uh, if a player were to just to, to stand here, for instance, they would get trapped pretty easily, but yeah. Alright, so, with the cube there... It is good that you have an anti-trapping situation there, that is very good. Alright, so... Now we can do this. And that gets us our other ball. And... what turns off the fizzler? Anything turn off the fizzler? Ah, okay, there's no signage for that. It would help if you... when- when you have that connected to the... uh... the fizzler. Just make the fizzler have signage, like, it can be, uh... It doesn't have to be ant lines, it just needs to be signage at the very least, because there's no signage on there that indicates that the fizzler would turn off. Alright. Take this guy out of here. And we want to change the the uh, cube over again. Uh, here. All right. Let me take this guy, and we're done. Yep. So it's definitely an improvement over your first puzzle. As for your... what was your second puzzle again? I already forgot. <laughs> second puzzle was... this one. 
Yeah, this one was quite broken. So at least... at least... at least with this one here, it doesn't seem to be very broken aside from all the, the portal bumping opportunities. And also... It wasn't really that challenging, but y you'll- you'll get better at that, so don't worry. So yeah, let me think about other criticisms here. That other cube in there was really only used to put on the button. Like, uh... Like, we, we only needed it. We, we pressed the button, it gave it to us, and then we immediately just push it on this button over here, and then we leave it there. It's generally not a good idea to have a cube that only gets used for one purpose. So, try to make it so that cubes have multiple purposes in, in their lives, because otherwise they're just kind of, you know, they get bored with their one purpose in life, you know? Not that interesting. Same goes for this one, we only needed him to, to either block or unblock the laser, that's a single purpose in life. Yeah. Anyway... This- one of these balls actually had two purposes, which was good, so you had to use one of them to get the other one, which was neat. So that part of the puzzle is okay. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!